David, also in your book, uh, you mentioned that, and I quote you, you are the chief storyteller of your brand. In that sense, do you have any tips on how employers should use the storytelling techniques to communicate to job seekers when, talk, when talking about company culture? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, the way I, what I talk about in my book and I talk about when I, when I do my speeches is that when you build a brand, you're really in the business of doing one thing, and that is telling your story to the world, okay? Yes. And so that's what I say. You really are now the chief storyteller of your brand. You tell your story to the world for two reasons. One is to become an attractive brand to do business with. The other one is to become an attractive brand to work for. There's two parts to telling your story. There is the skill side, which everybody tells. And then there is the character side, which a lot of people don't tell. Yeah. And then there's two parts, again, to telling the story. That's the part that you can tell, which you can control through PR, social media, marketing, whatever it is. And then there's the part that other people tell. And we call them brand ambassadors. Yes. So on a business perspective, why it's so important to understand this concept is you are in the business of telling your story. But what I tell people to do is focus as much on telling the character side of your story as you do the skill side. Mm. When someone engages your brand, there's a level of expectation that you know what you're doing. Yeah. So if I book an airline ticket, say on WestJet, yeah. there's a level of expectation that they know how to fly planes. Okay. Yeah. What I'm not expecting is to be emotionally hooked into the brand. And so that's the character side of your story. So as I always tell brands, through your purpose and through your values, spend as much time telling that character side as you do the skill side. Flip side of that coin is if you're a job seeker or you're somebody looking to join a brand, make sure you spend as much time when you're being interviewed and you're interviewing the brand, focusing on the character of the brand, but also letting the people know the character side of your story. Get them to know you as much as you as much as you're promoting your skill. Yeah. Make sure you promote your character and how your character is going to be a fit and an alignment for their values. Yes. If you do that, you will make an emotional connection with that brand where everybody else is focused on their skill, right? Yeah. You're going to also say, hey, listen, not only my skill, but here's the character. Here's, here's what I'm about. Here's my per personal purpose. Here's my personal values. Here's how they align with yours. Yeah. You do that, you will be unstoppable. But again, you know, from brands, one of the things we've always done is we've always made sure that we are telling the character side of our story. Yeah. And that's how we've been able to emotionally hook people into our brand and get a legion and legion and legion of followers. So, yeah. And especially this says, I feel that using social media companies are also promoting their company culture. You know, they're putting some events, Halloween, Christmas or other events and they are promoting or even sometimes uh, some companies are using company uh, videos to promote uh, company culture, to post jobs. So they're also saying, hey, this is our office, this is your, 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 your future manager, this is what we're looking for. And also they are promoting that, as you mentioned, the character and the environment that they have. Yeah, it's, and it's a brilliant way to do it because you're giving people a glimpse into their future, right? Yeah, yeah. And it allows people, you know, like one of the things we always do in our hiring process is before we hire anyone, we have them come down and spend a day with us, right? Yeah. And, and we expose them to all aspects of the business and all the people they're going to meet and chat to. And we, yeah. we just want to, number one, it makes your first day a lot easier. But number two, we want them to come into it with wide, eyes wide open, right? Yes. And, and for them to be able to say, you know what? Yeah, I, I, I feel good here. And, yeah. and it's not everyone's on their best behavior that day. It's just who we are. So I like that sort of thing when companies use videos, they use core value videos, they show a day in the life of. Um, it. Because you can't outwardly act one way and inwardly not yeah. be. I mean, you just, it's just a false. Yeah. So We have uh, to yeah, be authentic. It, we have to be authentic in our we do. How we present. A, agreed. And it's a smart way to do it. And, and so you're giving people a glimpse of what a day in the life would be yes. like. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Idea. Yeah. Thank you, David, again, for sharing those tips. And those are great tips. Uh, a day of a life in the company. I think every company should start somehow using it. And yes. if you have, again, for the people watching or listening, if you have any comments or questions, please uh, put it in the comment section and we'll be more than happy to answer them for you. And tune in tomorrow for another question with David.